the winner of the 2012-13 NZTR Award for Outstanding Contribution to Racing is the late Mr Jim Campen. I ask his children to come. Philippa Rush, Pumper Nichols, Data Spitting and Fox is running on. Philippa Rush is showing a lot of guts. She's gonna win it. Philippa Rush, Pumper Nichols, Data and Finnegan and Fox. He's working it on Hero. Santa Crest is after him. He's a length and a half away. Hero's in front for the hundred. by Jim Camp and congratulations to you. Ladies and gentlemen, two of Jim's children, Mark and Anna are here, but Mark, you'd like to make the speech. I think you should. Ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to stand here on behalf of the family. Unfortunately, Chris and Wendy couldn't make it tonight, but Mamie and Isaac are here on their behalf. I'd like to thank New Zealand Racing for acknowledging Dad's contribution to racing and breeding. The news of Dad's award gave Dad a great sense of accomplishment in the last few weeks of his life. It was a great pride I stand here to read Dad's words. It was a great thrill to be recognised by one peers. To receive this award and to know all the hard work behind it is very worthwhile. It was a sad to me, it was said to me many years ago, the most successful thoroughbred stars are built around a great mare. Back in 1964, Nora and, I went, Nora and I were married and had just a couple of horses in training and we thought we could win the New Zealand Derby with one but that horse broke down in his final gallop. So with little material to race, I approached my mother to ask if I would lend me a thousand pounds to go to the yearling sales and buy a nice filly. Mum agreed and off we went to Trentham. And while Nori platted mains to earn money, I studied every filly in the catalogue. My final choice was a filly by Fair's Fair, out of, a, out of rag, from a good Okawa family. She came into the ring and I thought she was mine at a thousand pounds. But then Joe Bromby, who had earlier success with a foal out of rag, bid 1,025 pounds. It was above our limit, but I then hoped Norian had enough cash in her manes and tails <laughs> for me to make that one more bid at a thousand and fifty. So moments later, she was ours. We named her Mary Poppins, and with top class speed, she became the leading two-year-old. At stud, she proved a wonderful broodmare, establishing a family of Group 1 winners. Three years later, a friend, Ewan Cameron, that we had broken in horses for, approached me with 8,000 to invest in a nice filly that we could race in partnerships together. Soon after, JG Alexander put a leaf loo filly from the Sindar family on the market for 8,000. Next day I rushed down to Whanganui to see her. A lovely type of filly, but like so many Leafaloos, a bit straight in the front legs. All the way home I argued with myself, pedigree and good looks versus straight front legs. Five minutes before our option ended, I rang and said yes, we would take her. Six months later, now named Kind Regards, she won the Great Northern Oaks and then at stud produced wonderful racehorse and sire Vice Regal, and her sister, a dual railway winner, Valencia. Continuing to potter around with a few horses of my own home breeds, we had an incredible season in 89, led by Philippa Rush sweeping all before her in a two-year-old season. We only had two three-year-olds in training, with Philippa Rush continuing on her winning the first half of the season, and then our other three-year-old, Domino, took over by winning the New Zealand Oaks, followed by the AJC Oaks, and is still the only Hawk filly to have won the two major Oaks in both countries. What a season. Our good luck continued a few years later with Emerald and Hero combining to win the 1,000, 2,000 guineas in four days. Since buying those two fillies back in the 60s, everything we have raced, we have bred. Many of them were rejects in the yearling sales. 
To be honoured by New Zealand Racing with this prestigious award is the major highlight of my life. I also thank those two wonderful fillies, Mary Poppins and Connery Guards, for the contribution to developing Chivica Studs. Thank you. Says much about the strength of the character of the late Jim Camp and that he wrote that prior to passing. Anna, you'd like to say a few words? Um, I'd just like to, on behalf of Dad, thank a few people that were really important in his career. Um, I'd like to thank Michael Pittman. You are the most genuine person I have ever met. And your friendship with, da with Dad is completely invaluable. Um, Greg McCarthy and Peter Bruce for always being there for him. Mark and Chris for carrying on the legacy of the stud. Nairi Fraser and Jen Campen for their different timed uh, partnerships with Dad. And just everyone else that really had an impact on my father's life and who he had an impact on theirs because we're all gonna miss him and thanks for the support. <laughs> well done. Yes, the outstanding contribution to racing goes to the late Jim Campen, and I have some wonderful, fond memories of the late Jim Campen. And one for me, George, is doesn't matter what time of the year, no matter how cold it was yeah. at Cambridge, he would always be there in his shorts. Yeah. <laughs> you knew it was a real cold morning if he had long pants on, uh, because he was amazing. Walked around and it's. And his shorts uh, every every day at the track, and uh, just a wonderful, wonderful horseman, and a man who enjoyed so much success. Uh, it was sad at his passing, but a, what a what a wonderful gesture by New Zealand Racing to to remember him, and, and those words that were so so well read too by by mm. Mark, were his own words. Uh, he got told prior to him passing away that uh, he was going to win this award, so. He couldn't be here personally, but we've heard from him tonight, which I think is a, a wonderful, wonderful thing. Too true.